Good afternoon, everybody. We are back. It is still rainy outside. It is still gloomy outside. It is still Monday outside. But we got Ray De Silva first in the chat. What's going on, Ray? Lemon Lust, number two. With Lemon Lust thinks he's number one, but he's number two. We got Tony D, man. Lemon Lust and Tim. Good afternoon to everybody out there. Glad to have you guys in here right now. Let's check the market out and see what is happening in stocks and crypto. We've got AMC in the top left hand side of the screen, finishing just above even today, $4.79. <coughs> Shiba Inu coin sitting at 663, down 0.60% on the day today. Low, man. We need some recovery in the crypto space. GameStop sitting at 24 to 27, up 7%. Not a bad day at all for GameStop, guys. Bitcoin sitting at 25,822, down 0.47% at the moment, and really sitting sideways most of the day today. The NASDAQ soaring, flying. You, I mean, think about this for a second, guys. If we are roughly 15%, 10% from these all-time highs, and we are gaining 1.5% on the day, we could be hitting all-time highs next week. That's, that's, I mean, that's just numbers. If we gain a percent and a half, in the overall market, and we're only down from the all-time highs, 10%, we are going to be touching all-time highs in the stock market in a couple of days. Now, that's not me predicting that, right? Clearly, you need uh, stringing together multiple days of 1.5% gains is not going to be easy, but it will get us there very quickly. And uh, I, I need you guys to be aware of that because overall, man, we are looking very, very good since the beginning of 2023. We still got our way to go uh, back up to 16,000 on the NASDAQ here. But the SPY, the SPY could get there very quickly. And, uh, of course, the NASDAQ would follow as well. GameStop, looking very good. AMC, holding even. Dogecoin, 6.1 cents, down 0.48%. Ethereum, 1730. Shiba Inu coin, 663. Bitcoin, 25,813. Mullen Auto. 38 cents on Molinado, another 10% loss. Dude, Molinado strings together 10% declines every single day. Uh, you guys got to watch out if you're buying Molin. Sundial sitting at $1.44. Spy sitting at $4.33. My gosh, 1% gain on the day today. BBIG, $2 flat on BBIG. Highcroft Mining, $0.31. Cents. Netflix sitting at $423.97. You've got QQQ. 360. QQQ looking solid, man. 1.70% gains today. Recent highs. Oh, man, dude. All-time high on the QQQ sitting at 404. And we are currently at 360. That is about a 15%. <coughs> that is about a 15% move to an all-time high. And uh, at this rate, we are going to get there quick. Okay? I mean, if we see 1.7% gain on a daily basis, man, it's going to be fast. $1.60 on Ape, man. Barcoding all day long, looking terrible. MPW, $9.21. Tesla, $249. Tesla knocking on 250's door, man. Anovix, $13.44. Nice bounce after hours. We've got PID sitting at $17.98. And Joby doing well today, 3% gain, $7.18 down there. Overall market looking pretty good right now. Uh, last, I did it. Be dark, bro. Dilly dilly. John, John Jilly, man. What's going on, John J? Crypto will cease to exist. Uh, Seeb, I think, uh, I hope that crypto will always exist, but we'll soon find out, man. Uh, J Bones, J Bones, you on the pot right now? Where Farmy? Farmy is, uh, most likely down. I have not seen Farmy today, but if I had to guess, I would guess down. So let's see where Farmy is at. I would have been incorrect. Farmy is up half a percent of the day today. 43.99 cents, 45 cents after hours. So Farmy up slightly still, as you can see from the daily chart there. Farmy is not looking good. Daily, weekly, daily. As you can see from the daily chart there, Farmy is not looking good. Going in March from $5 per share to 40 cents per share three months later. So please watch out for Farmy, guys. It is not a good investment. I can't advise you on what is and what is not good, but Farmy is not good. So watch out for Farmy, please. Listen to Tim. Uh, what's happening, Captains? What's going on, Kristen? How are you? Big Tim, how you healing up? Hopefully well. Tony getting back at getting back to normal. Good deal, man. We want you normal and we want you better than ever. The SEC's got clay. Lemon lust. You can see me, man. I'm here, right? 
I mean, I, I am here. You guys can tell that I'm here. I hope you can tell that I'm here. The SEC will never get me. They'll let me be me. So let you see when the SEC tries to shut me down on MTV. I go clay, bro. And then you'll see. <laughs> All right, I mean, I'm Come on, man. Where you at? Where you at on that one, dude? You wish, you wish, you wish. Hello, Bree Bike. What's going on, Bri Bike? I think it's, it's Bri Bike or Bri Breek. I don't even know what it is, but good name. I like it. U.S. Congressman files legislation to fire the SEC chair Gary Gensler. Is that true? Lemon Lust. I have no idea we could see if that's true or not. UK News is slow to report this stuff. Lemon Lust, I imagine, because they don't want you to know about it. They don't want to spook actual retail investors out there. Uh, let's go out here to Google and see what we got going on. Um... <sighs> All right, fire Gary Gensler. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know. So if you uh, if you come out here and you talk about fire Gary Gensler, Coin Telegraph has reported two hours ago. U.S. lawmakers filed the SEC Stabilization Act to fire Gary Gensler. U.S. capital markets must be protected from a tyrannical chairman. Dude, they're watching my videos. They're watching my... I, they're watching my videos. I have not seen a single article. I have not seen a single video. I've not seen a single person willing to call what Gary Gensler on the SEC is doing a ty tyrannical overreach and abuse of power. Uh, I, I know they're watching my videos. Cointelegraph. What's up, guys? Glad to have you out there. Glad to have you on board. Uh, from a tyrannical chairman, including the current one, Representative Warren Davidson wrote the reference to the SEC. All right, so Warren Davidson is either watching my videos, this uh, representative is either watching my videos, or his grandson is watching my videos and sharing them with uh, Warren. So thank you very much, Mr. Davidson. Absolutely appreciate that. And uh, I, I cannot say anything else. I, I think that that's phenomenal. United States Rep. Warren Davidson has introduced the SEC Stabilization Act into the House of Representatives announced on June 12th. One of the bill's most uh, one of the bill's main provisions is to fire the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC Chair Gary Gensler. Dude, if he refers to himself as the hero, I mean, I, I I'm begging for a hero to stand up and, and save the crypto space. So if this guy refers to himself as the hero that's gonna do so, yeah, man, he's watching my videos for sure. U.S. capital markets must be protected from a tyrannical chairman, including the current one. That's why I'm introducing legislation to fix the ongoing abuse of power and ensure protection that is the best interest of markets for years to come. It's time for real reform and fire. Gary Gensler is chief of the SEC. Davidson declared his intention to introduce the bill earlier this year. He made that announcement in a reply to a tweet by Coinbase. In reply, yeah, in reply to a tweet by Coinbase, legal chief uh, Paul Grewal, a representative Tom Mr. is the, or that could be Republican Tom uh, Emmer is the author of the bill. Emmer said, Stabilization Act will make common sense changes. This is all we've been hoping for, some common sense, to ensure that the SEC's priorities are with the investors they are charged to protect and not the whims of its reckless chair. Dang it, dude. That is everything that I was hoping. So, clearly we know anything any of these bills that are brought to congress take a very long time to go through so i don't think that we're necessarily going to see an answer to this quickly i don't think we're going to see gary gensler fired very quickly but at least someone is doing something thank you very much for bringing that to our attention and uh, i hope that that does go through even if he doesn't get fired man i, I hope that they are able to rein this dude in Tim says, good game. We'll never get clay, bro. Gary Gensler, good game. Yeah, man. Good game to Gary Gensler because I will always win. Supposed to announce the new buyers. Yeah, Adrian O. So I don't know anything about Bed Bath & Beyond's potential acquisition. All right? I don't mess with bankrupt stocks, but uh, the, these guys, somehow, okay? I, I figured they would have been at one cent by now. Somehow... During the course of bankruptcy, they have gone from four cents to twenty cents. That is phenomenal, man. If you've ridden from four cents to twenty cents, I don't know why you're still here. Um, I don't know why they have a hundred million dollar market cap. They're bankrupt. Okay. 
their book value per share is negative seven dollars this is not a company that you want to be invested in their earnings per share negative fifteen dollars on a four cent share think about that they are losing money faster than they can dilute investors faster than they can do anything else they're losing massive amounts of money with a negative fifteen dollars per share earnings when you're talking about a four cent share there so Bed Bath & Beyond, I don't know if they've announced any buyers or yet or not. Uh, do we have any news on them? Three days ago is the last news on Bed Bath & Beyond. So I don't follow them very closely, but they're not something that I would want to touch buyers or or, or not. Sorry. Uh, I believe the legislation thing is true. Well, hopefully it is because uh, if they didn't, they made up a pretty good article there. What up? Just got a boss to call this guy off at 4.30 because I need their truck and I'm ready to go. Freaking touch the mower for 10 minutes today. Went back to the roots and weed eated today. I like it. Chris, man, going back to the roots. One of the one of the weed eater boys, man. Heck yeah. Well, you know what the deal is. You're, you're showing up and you're doing it. Did you have a good day? Because I'm telling you, is it like the same weather there as it is here, dude? Were you weed eating in some cloudy, gloomy weather? Oh, man. You know, sp oh, I, I, I didn't even want to bring it up, but I'm going to bring it up. I bought a planter. I, I don't even want to talk about this, but I'm going to talk about it anyway. I bought a planter last week. I was going to I was gonna plant some strawberries in it, right? My mom's got a bunch of strawberries growing in her yard, and I was going to plant some strawberries in this planter, and uh, I didn't bring anything home over the weekend. And I set this planter outside. It rained last night and it rained yesterday. Okay. Well, this planter is sitting next to my house and I guess it's like right under the awning, right? Right under the, where the roof line goes. The roof's got a, I don't know, about a foot overhang or whatever. So any of the water that would have rolled off the spouting kind of went down in this bucket, man. And it was about, I'd say probably six inches deep. Dude, this morning, one of the chipmunks didn't make it. I tried during the live during the break between live streams today. I went out there. My dad came over. I went out there, and uh, he was sitting on the on the porch. And I walked over, and I was you know talking to him. I looked down at the planter, man. There's like six inches of water in it, and there's a chipmunk in there. And I tried CPR for like thirty minutes, dude. Could not get this chip. I, I don't know how long he had been in there, but I'm telling you, man, it is. It was not Chip Bro. It was not Little Tail. It was not any of those. It was one of the newer chipmunks. But, dude, a part of me can't help but feel like if I never bought that stupid planter, or if I would have gone in there and planted strawberries this weekend instead of just letting it be empty. Or if I would have moved it six inches further away from the house. I'm telling you, dude, it is, it's tough, man. And and I don't mean to, like, you know, bring you guys down if you're bringing, getting down on that. But, eh, dude, that, it's like, I don't know, man. I don't know. I had a hard time with that this afternoon because uh, I feel like I could have done any of those things. And that wouldn't have happened, so... That was that was the afternoon there, and we're gonna be getting better from it. It's all right. Life happens, I guess. Um, it, yeah, man. So, hopefully, hopefully things turn around and get better now. Gary Gensler, how to turn turn appointed into a citizen? Oh my goodness, this is the perfect day example of a tyrannical government. It is Tim. Fire Gary Gensler, top trending in the U.S. Nice, hey, Kristen. This dude don't stand a chance. 2023's definition of common sense. What why, commonly works for my personal view. Chris, 100%, man. There's no more There's no more logic. There's no more truth. There's no more fact. There's no more real. Everything in 2023, everything now is subjective, okay? So you are, you're dead on with that one, man. Commonly works for my personal view. If it works for you, it has to work for everybody else. Chris knows what he's talking about there. Howdy, gentlemen. Click, King of Ohio. Lisbon, what's going on? I was told moon was soon, and it is soon, so we're moon. JB, man, it's not soon yet. Soon is soon, man. Today is now. Soon is soon. So soon moon. You are right on that one. Gloomy and crappy, but it's cold, and even colder on the back of a mower, so I made someone else do it. Nice. 
yeah, Chris, it, it is. It's a little chilly out today, man. I guess if you had a coat on or something, it wouldn't be that bad. But 59, 60, it was 59 this morning, 63 degrees right now. It's not something that I would be on. I wouldn't be outside all day on. Can you explain what is a security? Yeah, Lisbon. So I, I can explain. Um, the, the current test. So a security at its most basic form is, is an investment, right? You take ownership in, in a company, in an asset, whatever. And as that asset appreciates in value, your ownership, your ownership interest in that asset appreciates in value because you own a certain percentage. Now, here, the SEC, and, and if we're getting technical, you know, they define a test to follow in order to label something a, a security. It must be, oh, dang it, I want to get these four points right, and I don't want to mess them up here, so let's, how we test. <coughs> Oh, where the heck? Oh, here's the four. All right. So in order to be a security, it must be an investment of money. All right. We, we understand that. That's basic. You've got to buy it. You've got to pay for it. In a common enterprise. Okay. So it's got to be like, you know. Claybro Inc. or whatever. Everybody's investing in the common enterprise. You're paying for a share of a company, of, of an asset. With the expectation of profit, that's very important. Now, you wouldn't assume that a currency would rise in value, but a lot of people buy Bitcoin, a lot of people buy these other currencies with the expectation that they will rise in value. Not because they want to transact in Bitcoin, but because they want to make money holding Bitcoin. And that expectation of profit is to be derived from the efforts of others. This is where it gets interesting. If you're running a business, right? You invest in it. You expect those workers, those people that are running the business, those employees to make the business more valuable. They're the ones creating the revenue. They're the ones doing the work and so on. As an investor, you are buying that security essentially to make profit based on others' work. Cryptocurrency doesn't necessarily have that, okay? If it's just a decentralized network where people are trading a coin, you can't necessarily expect a profit or you shouldn't expect a profit derived from the work of others. That is the test that must be met in order for something to be considered a security. It's called the Howey test, okay? And that's what is that's what's being litigated in all of these lawsuits here. I uh, just got a Lunk. Beep, beep, baby. Oh, yeah. Strawberry fields forever. Yeah, Lisbon. That's uh, that's what it's going to be. Sorry, Clay. Say after the little guy. Yeah, JB, man. Uh, you know, I don't want to spend too much time talking about the dude, clearly, because it's going to make me upset. And there's some other people in here who probably might get upset or whatever, but tried CPR for like 30 minutes, man. Already buried the dude, and, uh, you know, it, it wasn't going to happen, so... Uh, did what I could, I guess, and now I will probably never have a planter close to the house again that can fill with water, and that's just, uh, it's, it is what it is, man. I, I, I do feel bad about it. Uh, XRP is bip, bip with a beep, beep. I like it. Kombu, yeah, I'm making one-fourth Nathan, Nathan's hot dogs, and my truck driver friend brought me some lobster tails from Maine. Oh, my gosh. Doing grilled hot dogs and lobster tails. It's good to be... Dude, grilled lobster and hot... I almost said grilled lobster and hot dog tails. That doesn't make any sense. Grilled hot dogs and lobster tails actually sounds really good to me, man. It sounds really good. Uh, Clearbro for SEC chairman. Let's get it trending. All right, let's get it trending. Let's make it happen. Uh, I would never... I would never want to be chairman of the SEC, man. It's just... I don't play ball with those guys. I don't play ball with those guys. I, I wouldn't want to come to their pressure, and I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to do that, man. This, this politics business is nonsense. <clears throat> Hopium does not equal expectations. Just saying, and it should say reasonable expectations because I'm telling you right now, some people expect some extremely unreasonable things, 
and that shouldn't make the you know that shouldn't make something a security. Clever, did you hear about Binance offering? A no, I did not, Tim. I did not hear about that at all, man. Uh, why the sorry to clever? I missed it, pesky. Word. No, Gorilla Invictus, man. One of the chipmunks. Uh, I mean, just to put it blunt, of what it was, man. One of the chipmunks. Probably one of the newer chipmunks ended up drowning in a planter. I was gonna plant some strawberries, and the rainwater, you know, fell off the roof, rolled across the spouting, and ended up filling like six inches of this planter up with water. And for some reason, he couldn't get out, so he did not make it, and uh, very upsetting. Uh, Gary Gensler, I'm suing you, DeFi. So, yeah, well, you know what? That, uh, Tim, I really hope that the SEC does not try to come against decentralized finance. I, I think if they could figure out who to sue, they would do so. Because if they were simply making guidelines, right? If they were simply trying to enforce some rules or enforce a law, manager, if you're subscribing on this live stream, thank you. If you're subscribing on a video, thank you again, but you're not going to hear this. Um... You know, if the SEC were just to introduce some guidelines or laws, I'm sure that they would already be trying to wrangle in DeFi and, and kind of regulate that market as well. Because they are doing so simply by enforcing, simply by litigating, there's nobody to sue in the DeFi market. There's nobody to label in, in a lawsuit. There's nobody to bring to court in DeFi. So I think that that's the problem they're running into in the DeFi space is that they're not trying to to bring out clarity. They're not trying to create guidelines. They're simply trying to sue people. And I don't know if it's to make money for their lawyers. I don't know if it's to just make headlines. I don't know what the reasoning behind it is, but it doesn't seem as though their goal is clarity regulation, and so on, it seems like their goal is simply litigation. And if they knew who to sue, man, I, I, I think that they would be going after DeFi. I really meant, I really do. There's more expectation in opium than in crypto. Yes, there is, Kristen. Hey, Clipper, I'm Destin, Florida this week. Loving life. Southpaw sling. Very nice. Destin does seem to be a pretty good uh, vacation spot. That's up there near the panhandle or on the panhandle of Florida, right? I've seen some pictures of Destin before. Beautiful beaches and seemingly beautiful water as well. Hopefully the weather's very good for you. Did I see copium at 1,000% increases? Southpaw Slinger. That actually, I have no idea. I don't know if he did or not. Let's go take a look. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Gorilla, man. Very tough day for me, man. Very tough day. We're going to make it through, though. I know we will. Copium is sitting on a 10% loss today. Let's see where Copium is at. Copium sitting on a 10%. Come on, dude. Pull up Chrome. What are you doing? Copium sitting at a 10% loss, $255,000 market cap right now. And down, down, down over the last, uh, what is this? Like three weeks here. Down pretty heavy. Going from 0 0.008 down to three zeros and a two. Losing almost 99% of its value there. Copium down to $255,000 market cap. Definitely not up 10x today or 1,000% gain. Got my Fidelity Rewards Visa monthly payout. $86 for May. Very nice. Bought two shares of T-Mobile. One share of USAC. Or not T-Mobile. AT&T. Sorry, I think I said T-Mobile. Two shares of AT&T, one share of USAC, and one share of WBA was a nice little mini stacker. Very nice, Frank, man. Um, Fidelity Rewards Visa monthly payout, man. So that is, that's basically like a rewards credit card, right? I, I, I think. Clever, is there any way you can enable closed captions on your stream? That way folks can watch and keep up if they can't listen. Very interesting, Gorilla. I don't know if I can do that live or not. I know afterwards it transcribes everything, but let's see what we've got. Streams, create highlights, no. Add stream marker, no. Share, no. Stream settings, enable auto start, auto stop, DVR, 360, closed captions. What is this?
Yeah. You know what? I may only be able to do that. I don't know if I can do that once I'm live, but there is a button for closed captions. So if that's something that I can, yeah, if that's something that I can click, I can't click it right now. It's blacked out right now. But if that's something that I can click when I'm not live, I might be able to do closed captions for the next live stream <clears throat> and have them on there while they're live. So, yeah, dude, I'll, I'll try to click that button or I'll try to remember to click that button the next time. But it doesn't seem like something that I can edit while I'm live. It might be something because it's it, it won't let me change the latency as well. So that might be something that I have to change when I am not live before I'm going live there. But yeah, it makes, it makes perfect sense, dude. If you guys are listening at work and you just want to read along or follow along if you want to watch the screen, uh, that yeah, that would be pretty good. Let's see. And I will try to remember that, but it's not something I'm used to clicking. So if I forget, remind me in the next live stream if you don't see closed captions. Not a question, Clay, bro, but I'm always watching your videos on Luke. Keep it up. Luke, man, appreciate that. I really do. You guys have no idea. Appreciate you being on the live stream, first of all, and letting me know that. But I appreciate all you guys watching the videos, man. E even if you're not directly paying attention, you guys understand that posting these videos, uh, y it's incredible that you guys watch this content, man, and, and you guys want to know what I have to say. Like, who am I in, in the grand scheme of things? But I appreciate all you guys watching. Kristen, nailed it. Election time coming up. Cricket politicians need more donations. That they do, man. And I would not doubt that we see a nice little rebound going into the next year here. If they take DeFi away from me, I'm going to be very sad. Sad. <laughs> JB, man, that's the thing. I, I wonder how they could do it. You know what I mean? Like, I, I guess they could just come out and say DeFi is illegal, right? The same way that, I don't know, driving without a license is illegal. But that doesn't necessarily mean that people without licenses don't drive. They do it all the time. So, I don't see how they would be able to shut DeFi down. I just simply think that they could make it illegal. And then you got to make a decision at that point. Is it what, you know, downloading movies or downloading music. It's not legal to pirate films and pirate videos and, or videos and, and music and stuff like that. But it's available and some people do it. So, the question is if they make DeFi illegal but it's still right there in front of you. What do people do in that situation, and how could it possibly be enforced? Uh, enforced, not enforced. Uh, they can only take it away what you are willing to give up. Tim, that is true, man. King of Ohio, Lisbon. I don't even know if I'd want to be the King of Ohio, but uh, well, thank you very much for that. Let's see. CC will make it easier to see what you're saying while we're driving. Dude, don't be reading while you're driving, man. You just got to be listening while you're driving. You shouldn't be typing while you're driving either, Kai. So start staking Luke and Shib. Yeah, man, if you guys, listen, if you are committed to the long term and the long term only, and you don't want to take advantage of any short term price swings or anything like that, and you are guaranteeing yourself to hold long term, yeah, staking is definitely an option you guys should be checking out. If you want to do any sort of short-term trades, you need to be liquid. And, of course, if you are staked, you're probably not going to be liquid. Give the bro a like. Listen to Lisbon and click that like button, guys. Show some gratitude and put your thumbs up where your mouth is. Hit the like button for Clay, bro. Kristen, thank you very much, guys. Click the like. I can only hit it once. Lemonless, whatever you guys do, only hit that like button an odd number of times. Never hit it an even number of times. Let's get this party started. Moji! It's still his birthday, guys. Birthday all day Monday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Moji. Happy birthday to you. Moji's birthday all day today, guys. I love it. Ah, there goes the fun. Moji's here. There goes the fun. What's the latest on Do Kwan? Very interesting. Tony, so I haven't seen any news on Do Kwan lately. Uh, I guess since he posted bail in Montenegro or wherever he was, since he posted bail, that was the last sort of 
That was the last article that I've seen read on, or seen written that I've read on Dil Kwan there. So I don't really know what's going on with him over the last couple of weeks. Moji! Thank you very much, guys. We got five green names in the chat. I love it. Moji, throw a green name to Nick F. Boom, there's an OG. Marquise got a green name. Tuomo got a green name. David got a green name. And Dave got a green name. Two Davids in the same batch right there. Moji turning everybody a bro. I love it. Moji, man, thank you very much for throwing those green names out there. Nick F, Marquise, Tuomo, David, and Dave. Guys, if you guys are in here, please say thank you to Moji, even if you're not in here. Everybody else say thanks to Moji as well. Moji, appreciate that, dude. And a very... Happy birthday to you. Guys, wish Moji a happy birthday. What are you doing? Say thanks to this guy and tell him happy birthday. Boom, baby. Nice, Moji. Thanks for the membership. Thank you very much, Lemon Lust. Welcome, Green Names. Tony D, appreciate it, dude. Smurf day to Mo, bro. I like it. Kombu, thank you very much. What's going on? Not enough green. We need greens in the chat. Green, 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 green. I'm pretty sure everybody in here is green. Seriously, thought he was your bro already. Dude, these guys, man, I don't know about these guys not not having or keeping green names. It's ridiculous, Moji. But I appreciate you, dude. Thank you very much for throwing all those greens out there and making sure all these guys stay members. <laughs> Richie throwing five more. We've got five more green names. Guys, there's no reason you should have a gray name. If you have a gray name, click what Richie's Plain Talk just sent. Enable your gift receiving. Click what Moji just sent. Enable your gift receiving. No way. William and South Paul Slinger should have gray names right now. William, South Paul Slinger, man. Click on what Richie's Plain Talk or Moji just sent. Enable your gift receiving. And next time somebody sends one, man, you guys should be getting some green names as well. Uh, if you want a green name, of course. See, there's no reason you guys should be grays right now. Andres got a green. Ivan got a green name. Live Life got a green name. Alex Rivera got a green name. And Tristan Thexton got a green name. Thank you very much. Richie's playing talk. All right, let's see. I want to see if uh, Richie's playing talk, guys. He posts a lot of content on Terra Luna Classic as well. I want to see if Richie's playing talk made it past um, 210, I believe, subscribers. And let's see where he is. He did. He made it to 211. Richie's Plain Talk. Congratulations on 211. Guys, we got Richie's Plain Talk sitting at 211 subscribers. Make sure to show this dude some love. Get him to 220. Let's go right now. And we've got five more in the chat. Did Southpaw Slinger get it? Did he click on it? Let's see what we got going on here. We've got Kenneth throwing five green names out. Boom. Southpaw Slinger. And William grabbing green names. Now that's what I'm talking about. Southpaw Slinger grabbing. William grabbing. Jimmy Freak. Come on, man. And name your gift receiving. Connor grabbing. Tausif grabbing. And Keiki Sean grabbing a green name. And official NZ grabbing from Mo. Gee, you guys, everybody in this channel. Oh, yes, I love it. LFG, Mo, or William, you got it, baby. Southpaw Slinger got that green name. Only give a small donation. Someone gave me a green name. I love it, Lisbon. Everybody grabbing green names right now. This is the best live stream ever. You guys are absolutely killing it right now. Everybody green, except for Jimmy the Freak. Jimmy the Freak is still gray right now. Appreciate all you guys. Show some love to the guys that are giving green names out in the chat right now. Richie's Plain Talk is one of them. If you want to show him some uh, show him some support by subscribing to his channel, please do so. Otherwise, man, give a happy birthday. Shout out to Moji. A big old thank you to Kenneth out there. You guys are absolutely incredible. I can't see any great names in this chat. I love it. Thank you very much, Moji. Thank you very much, Kenneth. And thank you very much, Richie's Plain plain talk guys everybody is green this is the best thing ever man uh kenneth thank you lemon lust appreciate you guys saying thank you to everybody throwing those green names out there it puts me in a great afternoon mood when i can join Kristen, i love it and we like it when you're in here as well bought 500 million ship at 660 william very nice dude uh j bones i like it moji going backwards on that one nick f says good afternoon to you nick f i love it man and nick f got that rainbow ape right there heck yeah nick f throwing a thanks out there yes nick f came come from moji on that one i bet Nick F got an email and decided to join there. Mo my bro. Heck yeah. Happy birthday to Moji. 
Kristen, thank you very much for saying happy birthday out there. Rose are, uh, bros are rocking it today, Mr. Brian. They definitely are. We've got green name after green name after green name coming into the chat right now. Appreciate all of you guys. How do I make it green? <coughs> Jimmy the Freak, man, if you want to get your own green name, you got to click the join button. And, uh, you know, you got to subscribe to the channel and all of that stuff if you would like to do it. If you want to wait on somebody else's generosity and somebody throwing a green name out there, you can go back and scroll back up to either what Moji sent or any of those guys. Click on that. There should be a button that says Enable Gift Receiving. And once you enable it, if anybody else throws another green name out there, you should be able to grab it. Otherwise, you got to click the, the Join button. If you're on iPhone, you got to copy and paste that link in the description that says Join the Channel, Become a Bro, and Grab a Green Name. Ah, good luck, William. You made a great deal, hopefully. I hope so, man. You know, Shiba Inu coin is down big right now. But you have to remember the overall crypto market is down big right now. So as the overall crypto market recovers, Shiba Inu coin should recover. You know, it's followed very closely the price of Bitcoin and Ethereum and should continue to follow very closely the price of Bitcoin and Ethereum. So if they do well, SHIB should do well. Jimmy needs a King Turkey. You know what, man? Just for Moji, man. Just for Jimmy and King Turkey on Moji's birthday. for tim that's for moji i love it guys tim dude thank you very much for throwing that king turkey at the you guys are getting me warm man i'm about to take this hoodie off in a second here because it is getting warm in here already richie's playing talk he's throwing that green name out there jimmy the freak man make sure you click on that thing because you didn't win that one rafi space trader got it Rafi Space Trader got it right there, and uh, yeah, Jimmy did not grab that green name just yet, but he's got that King Turkey. I like it. And we got another one for Moji and Jimmy. Thank you very much, Moji, for the King Turkey, for Jimmy. You guys are definitely making me sweat in this hoodie. I'm about to take it off, man. You guys are going to see. Well, I'm, I got a shirt on in here. Don't worry about that. Who needs stripper music? What would I need that for? That's crazy. It all makes sense now. Lemon Lust, it might make sense. I actually don't know what's talking. Oh, we're talking about making sense anymore. You guys got so much going on in terms of Super Chat. So much going on in terms of green names. This is a great live stream. Oh, yes. Could you stop playing with his dinosaurs to watch the turkey? If it sounds like something you're interested in... Let's get started. Chris did very nice. A lot of King Turkeys coming across the screen right now. And Richie's Play Talk doing five more green names in the chat. Guys, go show Richie some love. What are you doing right now? What? Look at this. Look at that number right there. 211. What are those? We need to get this guy to 220, man. Go click subscribe on Richie's Plain Talk. Somebody help this guy out. Nobody's clicking the subscribe button. Go to 220 for Richie right there. Show some love on that. Say thank you very much for five more green names. Did Jimmy the Freak get it? Jimmy the Freak did not. Come on, Jimmy the Freak, man. Did you enable your gift receiving? What is going on right now? The throng that never ends got a green name. Freddy got a green name. Tim already has a green name. Vince got a green name. And Shredda got a green name. 420, the blood monster. Bud monster, not blood monster. Got a green name as well. Richie, dude, thank you very much for those green names. Moji, yes, baby, Moji. He's going to make me sweat for sure. Oh, man. Oh. 
Mochi, thank you very much for the superhero super chat. You guys have no, I'm just telling you right now, wherever you are, stand up and try to do that superhero super chat. It is not easy. Moji, man, thank you very much for the super chat. Absolutely appreciate that one. You guys are going to make me pass out in a second here. I'm telling you, if I don't stop this, if I don't calm down a little bit, it's going to get, oh, did, did, uh, did Dark Bro authorize my hydration all day long? I think he did. Hopefully that was Dark Bro's authorization for the day on that hydration right there. Thank you very, very much, Moji and Jimmy the Freak. Still got a great name, guys. Come on, Jimmy the Freak. Enable your gift receiving. What are you doing? Sweating to the 80s, Clay. I'm telling you right now, dude. It's only 64 in here. And uh, I am not sweating through the hoodie. That would be ridiculous. But I could tell. I could tell I'm sweating a little bit right now. Bud Monster, named Dylan by a chance? I don't know. Dylan, are you, are, is, I mean, Bud Monster, is your name Dylan? We gotta see. Clay's gonna need some air. Tony D. I do need some air, man. That's why I took a little authorized hydration for myself and did not pass out on that one. I did when Tesla continued uh, the break of 250. William uh, might have missed what you did there, but good. Richie's playing talks on fire. Thanks, Richie. Richie is on fire, man. Richie is absolutely killing it. Richie, dude, thank you very much. Nope, spit it back out. Oh, come on, man. I thought he authorized hydration all day today. Somebody needs to authorize that hydration then. Uh, let's see. Spitter, yeah, exactly, Moji. It's not going anywhere. It's staying right here. Missing out on the marbles. Roizen, what is happening with marbles? What, you guys, what is this? You want to see my pickle? What is happening right here? I don't know what's going on with these little spammers. What is going on? We, you guys like pickles in the chat? I like pickles. I'm, I'm, I think everybody likes pickles. But that's the most amount of pickles I've ever seen. Not enough likes. Hit it for our big bro. Guys, click that like button. Richie, play, Richie's playing talk, man. Thank you very much for all the support. You're killing it, dude. What's happening right now? Kristen, I have no idea. We've got some pickles that are coming in the chat and raiding this place. It's very strange to me. Not exactly sure. Um, but, uh, yeah, we got the pickle bros coming in here. Pickle bros coming in. This is a little weird, but I like it. She pegs me, Holmes. She does, I think. Is it good? Maybe. Love it, Clay, bro. My man, 420 Bud Monster. Heck yeah. We got pickles, Tony D. We got all the pickles in the chat right now. Guys, nothing going on after hours. AMC still sitting sideways. Shiba Inu coin. Oh my god, dude. Look at Shiba Inu coin right now. Look at this price. Look at this. Look at this price. And it's just sitting there. Not moving at all. Ah, don't buy Shiba Inu coin right now. Let it move a, a price before you guys buy that one. Bad luck. Yo, yo, DJ Flexa. What's going on, DJ Flexa? How you doing? Uh, bro, need a... What? No, I'm good. Got some somewhere. I'm going to be good, Lisbon. I promise I'm going to be good. Tin Shed, what's going on? Auto cucumbers? Might be. I have no idea. Cucumbers? It might be a pickle. I'm not exactly sure what it is. Uh, that's the thing. I don't... I, uh, cucumbers are okay. Like, they taste fresh. They're nice. But I would actually prefer a pickle. If you guys had to choose between a pickle and a cucumber... I mean, technically, it's the same thing, but one soaked in vinegar. Which one are you taking? I'm taking the pickle. I'm taking the pickle every time. Greeny Sweeney, it might be, Kai, but it looks like a pickle to me. Clay, bro, what's going on? Fairground Fun Days, how you doing? This is where 420 been hanging out. Yeah, Mr. Fins, this is where 420's been hanging out. We got Fairgrounds with the tomatoes. Clay, bro, what's going on? Taking a let champ, bro. Absolutely, 420. Why are you all spending these? I have no idea uh, why. We've got so many pickles coming in the chat right now. But, uh, Stu, what's going on? Busted, how you doing? Pokemon, all you guys, loving it. Chat rate is up. Uh, chat rate a chat rate up. I leave a like, bro. Thank you very much for 20. All of you guys, make sure to click that like button. Uh, cucumbers are taking over. They really are. It's getting crazy in here. YouTube handing green names out like a bunch of pickles. Yeah, even some of the pickles in here. Aruba Sue. Even some of the pickles have green names in here. It's very strange. Guys, grab some green names. Click the like button if you're going to be in here. I did not see that Pug subscribed to the channel. I did not see that uh, she busted you subscribe to the channel. I did not see Mr. Finns subscribe to the channels. Guys, click the subscribe button. Get your name up on the top of the screen. Thank you very much, Pug. 
Thank you very much. If you guys are going to be coming in here and spamming, the least you can do is click the subscribe button and click the like button. Pug, thank you very much for clicking that subscribe button. Now, I need to see she busted me, and I need to see uh, all of you other spammers in here clicking that subscribe button. Pug, appreciate you, dude. Welcome to the cucumbers. I like it. Like for the cucumbers. Do it, guys. Pickles, cucumbers, whatever they are, appreciate you. Kombu, throwing them out there as well. Tom, Clay, Kristen, you got to. If you're going to come in here and spam, you might as well play the game. We love you, Clay. Aruba Sue, appreciate you, man. I know you're subscribed. Ain't got to worry on that one. Uh, I like cucumbers and pickles. Wyatt, good deal, man. I like cucumbers and pickles as well, but I like pickles a little bit more than cucumbers. Make sure you guys click that subscribe button if you have not done so already. Appreciate all of you guys. And, uh, you know, even the, even the pickle spammers. You got to do what you got to do sometimes. And you guys like spamming pickles. That's okay with me. Just make sure you subscribe to the channel as you're doing so. Got to scroll back down. Subscribed a long time ago. No, no, no. Fairground Fun Days, man. I, I know you subscribed a long time ago. I, I recognize your name in here. Some of the other people, clearly, I don't recognize. But I, I recognize your name, man. Uh, I got a pickle. Hey, 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 hey. Yes, Kristen. We got a lot of pickles in here. I like money. Champagne Izzy. I also like money. Uh, it's one of the reasons that I chose to talk about finance. Uh, I just, I, I, it might be strange, but I do really like it. And I like the idea of being able to compound your money and make money with money. It's actually fantastic, man, when you, when you think about it. You know, I don't even really get infatuated with the idea that you can buy things with money. It's just the fact that you can make more money with money that I really like. And, and that's why, dude, when you're talking about crypto, when you're talking about stocks, when you're talking about finance, it's... It's more than just watching a, a graph go up. It's the idea that, that you know, it's finance is truly revolutionary. DD214, thank you very much for the super. Thank you very much for the show. Thank you very much for the super chat. DD214, man. Thank you very much for the super chat. Absolutely appreciate that. You guys are killing it today, man. Thank you very much for very very fun afternoon live stream especially after a not so fun break in between the live streams uh you guys are really making a bounce back here i like it pug just like subscribe and cucumber my bro i like it pug man thank you very much for subscribing as well i see your name at the top of the screen perfect upgrade membership bro that's what i'm talking about kenneth grabbing a bro name kenneth thank you very much for grabbing that bro name instead of a little bro name appreciate you dude kenneth is a bro guys i love it say that your pickle is as big as well you know what uh Quite often, Brian, you will see a, a jar of pickles and all of them are the exact same size. You know, every once in a while, you might find a jar with a slightly larger pickle. Doesn't mean it's a better pickle, just means it's simply larger. And I don't know if it grew a little faster. I don't know if it was, it took a little while for them to pick it. I don't know the reasoning behind that pickle being slightly larger, but more often than not, all the pickles in the jar are going to be the same size. So, yeah, dude, you like pickles, you like big pickles, you like small, whatever size pickle you like, dude, just grab a jar of them, and the majority of them are going to be the same. They're going to be average. So I wanted to put Gentler in a, a timeout. Well, there you go, man, putting Gensler in a timeout. That's what I'm talking about, Moji. Uh, let's see. Hit the pickles with an ad, Clay. Mr. Brian, I'm about to hit these pickles with an ad. Who thinks ad? Yeah, Gensler, I knew what you meant, not Gentler. Uh, ad for the pickles, maybe they are subscribing, so I like that. Uh, but some of the pickles in the jar might be sl no, 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 Kai. I have never opened a jar of slightly used pickles, man. Never done that. That's just crazy. That's just crazy. I'll be a bro. Only have 30 cents in the bank now. Lisbon, guess what? You are a bro. You see that green name? You see that icon? Yeah, I icon next to your name. Yes, you are a bro, Lisbon. No worries there. Shot eight over par today. Rocking it, baby. Moji. I'd be shooting eight over par on every hole. Think about that. I'd be eight over par on every single hole. You would be like, dude, I am never golfing with clay bro this is the worst day of my life i am never golfing with clay bro again 
Yeah, eight over par every hole. Guarantee that would be what I'm shooting. Whoever about CPI data? Supposed to be below 4.1%, 4.3%. What do you think the price could be? I can't get a position on Bitcoin uh, below 25,000. Thoughts? Thanks, bro. PS5, when is the CPI data coming out? Um, I, I, I don't know when the CPI data is going to be released. <sighs> I would hope that CPI continues to move lower. Edward, thank you very much for subscribing to the channel. Absolutely appreciate that if you're in here. I would hope that CPI continues to move lower. The inflation rate needs to continue, uh, I, I guess, trending towards that 2% target. And... And it has done so for the previous like 10 or 11 months. Uh, I don't know exactly what the number is right now. But uh, I don't think it's impossible to see a continual decline in the CPI rate. Even if they lie to us, man. Even if they lie to us. I expect them by election time to say that, you know, the economy has recovered. The stock market's doing well. I expect them to lie to us and say that the economy is better interest rates have plateaued or are declining i would expect them to lie to us and say that the inflation rate is under control and back down near that two percent target so i do think that we could continue to move lower if we do if all of that stuff moves down crypto should begin to move higher right if it doesn't it's probably going to be blamed on the sec and, and regulatory clarity and stuff like that Anyway, Clay Brown Crew, 420, absolutely, man. Trick is to find a jar smaller than the pickle. Old man advice, Timmy. Nice, man, nice. Thought it turned me blue. Kenneth. Dang it, man. It didn't work, did it? It didn't work, Kenneth. We got to worry about it. We got to fix that somehow. I feel like I'm a pickle parallel. Clay Bro universe. What is happening right now? Kristen, I actually have no idea what is happening either. So you and I are both in the same universe. Shot a 90 yesterday. Is that good? Is that good? I have no idea if that's good or bad, actually. Mad love, baby. Oh, yes. Is Pepe going to go on Robin Hood? Connor, no. Pepe's not going to go on Robin Hood. Um, Robin Hood actually just delisted a lot of cryptocurrencies that the SEC labeled as a security. So I don't think that Robin Hood's going to be issuing or listing, I should say, any new cryptocurrencies for a very long time, potentially years, if the SEC continues to sue these cryptocurrency exchanges. Cucumber Army here. Shoot! Yes, they are. The Cucumber Army is here. Clay, do you think the one-two punch will be with Powell hitting the mark? Oh. <laughs> Dude, if Powell comes out, listen, I expected 0% interest rate hikes six weeks ago. I am still expecting a 0% interest rate hike. Consensus estimates are now for a 0% interest rate hike. Yes, if, the, if Powell comes out on Wednesday and hikes interest rates by 25 basis points or 0.25%, I think that that is going to hit the market very hard, okay? We're already expecting no increase. If we've got the SEC breathing down our neck, if we've got Powell continuing to raise interest rates despite analysts expecting no hike and, and an improving economy and Powell stating to the contrary, that could be a one-two punch, man. We are down. Do we stay down for the count? Probably not, but I do think that we go down pretty hard. And uh, yeah, Richie, that, that would be a tough one. I was hoping that that he won't do so, but that would be pretty tough if he does. Eight ball question. Shib hits 500. Eight ball answer, yes. Will Shiba Inu coin hit 500 points per coin? As I see it, Yes. It's kind of hard to see right there. But as I see it, yes, I already knew that the 8-Ball was going to answer that. Shiba Inu coin, as answered by the 8-Ball, will hit 500 points per coin, guys. Tough one, but it is what it is. Keep getting placed in timeout. Moderators are tough today. Johnston Town might be an accident. I haven't even seen your name in here yet. Johnston Town, glad to have you, dude. What's up with my chat? The pickle's broke and it got stuck at the bottom. The new chat's coming in above them. Kristen, you got to leave and come back in. I actually have no idea. The pickles probably did break it. Lunk to the moon. Benoit, let's make it, man. Let's take Lunk to the moon. Clear with the big question. Will Jerome Powell stop and pause the interest rates? On the, they, yeah, PS5. My expectations, yes. A analyst consensus right now, yes. 
interest rates will stop at 5.25 basis points here in the United States. Interest rates will have plateaued. Now, we know that Jerome Powell is going to continue saying he is going to do whatever it takes to stimulate the economy, blah, blah, blah. And that does not mean that this is the last interest rate hike that we have ever seen. He could raise it further six weeks from now. Um, it does not mean that that's, you know, the last month could have been the last interest rate hike that we see and they could be done. So I'm hoping for the best and I am hoping for a plateau and eventually a decrease in interest rates. That's my expectations. I don't have to be correct on that. I could absolutely be incorrect. He could shock the market. He could raise by 50 basis points. It's his decision. So with them going after exchanges, where's that put pancake swap and Uniswap? Kenneth, in my opinion, pancake swap and Uniswap will be next. It's just how will they go after them? They can't go after them because they're DeFi exchanges. There's there's no address where they can you know send a lawsuit to. There's no address. There's nobody in charge of those exchanges that they can come after and bring to a court. There's no jurisdiction over a DeFi exchange that's ran who knows where by who knows who. So I think that those exchanges are going to fall under, you know, whatever Congress comes up with, unless, you know, Congress drags their feet for a while and, and a judge goes over and, and, you know, creates all of these guidelines through the litigation for centralized exchanges. I don't think that DeFi exchanges will have those guidelines and will have regulation unless, of course, Congress steps in and creates actual laws to bring those in. You, you, how can you sue that which technically does not exist? You know what I mean? Like, how do you sue somebody if they're just an avatar? Let's see here. Uh, I know a Kaibone have been getting wrecked. Uh, I might have missed something. I think Bal and Gensler are in bed with each other, especially since raising the devil. Yeah, Richie's playing talk. I think everybody's in bed with each other in the government, man. I really do. Driving and listening, have a great evening, peeps, and thanks, Clay, for the happy birthdays. Moji, man, for real. Guys, as we sign off, which is going to be in the next minute, please, if, if you get a birthday, never be afraid to tell me it's your birthday. Tell Moji happy birthday on the way out. Moji, man, once again, one last time, celebrate it. I don't care if you guys are 15 or if you guys are, are 95. I want you to enjoy your birthdays. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Moji. Happy birthday to you. Moji, man, happy birthday. I hope you're having a great day today. Uh, which one is the actual trade? Lucas, uh, what do you mean actual trade, man? Sorry, I might have missed something earlier. Remember, by this time next year, or last year, interest rates sucks comparing to poop to poop. Yes, you are right, Tim. You are absolutely right. Still salty. I didn't sell my bone when I hit two dollars and bought back in. Tony D, here's the thing, man, that I want to I want you to think about. Will you still be salty that you didn't sell it at 68 cents when it's sitting at 38 cents? And buy back in then. Just food for thought, man. Press the like button. Listen to JJ. Do that. Not getting into broken without Clay being on board. Heck yeah. Uh Clay Bro, do you have any technical analysis on Bitcoin? Because the price just keeps going up. Any downside or yeah, so. Uh, technical analysis on Bitcoin remains the same, man. We are sitting right here in between 25,000 and still between 27,000. We've got support at this 25,000 mark. We've bounced off of it, bounced off of it, bounced off of it, and now we're sitting right here. Uh, I don't think it's going to be impossible to come back up and test 27,200, but as you can see, we do have a little bit of a trend line forming here. Since hitting the highs around 30,000, we have continued to hit see some lower highs, and we might just wedge down into this area now. Everything is going to be heavily correlated to the overall market, meaning the interest rate decision we're talking about, meaning the inflation rates that are reported every month, meaning the SEC and their lawsuits uh, might cause us to continue trending on these lower highs and potentially lower lows here into this area but 25,000 very strong below 25,000 22,000 and you guys can see the lines on the chart right there but I don't think we need uh, that line on there so yeah th that's my that, that's those are my lines on Bitcoin right there but we, we've had a pretty hard time since the beginning of April on Bitcoin 
Guys, somehow it is past five o'clock. You guys made this live stream go extremely fast. I cannot say thank you enough. If you guys have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. All of that good stuff. Get your names in the chat. Give a shout out to Moji. Give a shout out to Kenneth. Give a shout out to Richie's Plain Talk for all of the generosity. Happy birthday to Moji. Absolutely. And all of the green names coming from Moji, Richie's Plain Talk. And, and Kenneth today. You guys are awesome bros, man, supporting the channel. I absolutely love it. And I hope everybody's able to show you a little bit of recognition and a little bit of appreciation for that. But it is past 5 o'clock, guys. We're going to have some videos coming out at 7 p.m., videos coming out at 8 p.m. You guys are incredible. And, of course, we're going to see you tomorrow in the live streams tomorrow morning at noon as well. Shout out to Mr. Brian, man. Moji, Tim, see you later, too. We got Lisbon. Enjoy it. Tony D, Moji, Richie's Plain Talk. Thank you very much for everything, man. Lemon Lust, peak of power in here. A fantastic birthday, birthday Moji. Absolutely. See you later, Bob. Jeffrey, enjoy your day. Tony D, man. Moji, happy birthday to you. You're awesome. No, Richie's Plain Talk. You're awesome, man. Dude, keep up everything you guys are incredible people for real tony d kai toodles to you toodles and tuggles all day mr brian moji jimmy the freak still not green but one day you will be jimmy see you later pug enjoy your day dd214 aruba su jj enjoy it dd214 moji see you later kai all of you guys you know what time it is you want to say it with me say it with me till the next time hope to each and every one of you have an awesome day